Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and in this little tips and tricks video I'm going to show you how to change your keyboard layout. This is a common problem that I get probably at least one or two uh, requests a week of how, you know, I don't understand it, my keyboard's all wrong, the letters don't do what they have to do. And that all has to do with one setting. It's in the language setting, you have the keyboard layout setting. And it's very important that the keyboard layout match the keyboard on your computer. So right click on the start button at the bottom left and go into the control panel. If you don't have this view of uh, the categories or in a large icon or a small icon, go into the upper right. If it looks like this, you need to change it. Change it from category to large icons. And here you'll have language. Go into language, and language is going to show you what you have installed. But the thing that people don't understand is there are two types of languages. There's the language the computer will show you on the screen. There's the language related to your keyboard. And that's very important to understand that there's a difference. People say, well, yeah, I've got English. Yeah. But what's the keyboard layout of that English? There's different keyboard layouts. Here, here in Canada, we've got French Canada. We've got Canadian multilingual. We've got simply English US, depending on what you have. And it does tell you in the languages that are installed. Here, for example, it says Windows Display Language Enabled, English Canada. Keyboard layout, Canadian multilingual standard and then date, time, and numbering formatting. When you have a language install, you can go into the options on the right of your, uh, the right side of your screen. There, you'll have input method. You have to e change that input method if it doesn't match your keyboard. So you click here and you look at what type of input method. For example, my keyboard here, because I'm in Quebec, French province of Canada is Canadian French. This is the real layout of my keyboard. So that's what I would look at and click on and click add. Once you add that, you want to remove the ones that aren't for you. That's very important. So once you add a keyboard layout, you can actually remove the other keyboard layout you don't want. So depending on what you want, for my uh, sake in my uh, videos, I want to keep it in multilingual, so I'll remove the French one here. But you need to choose the correct input. So you need to know what type of keyboard layout you have. Another thing you need to know is in your, in your uh, display language, uh, don't forget that you can actually add more display languages here. Uh, you can also change, if you have more than one language, you have the possibility to change you see here, move down, move up. The first one at the top is the one that your computer is using. If it's the one you want is second or third, make sure to click on it and click the move up button and you'll see that it's going to move up. Once it's the first in the list, that's when you'll have that language as the default language. So it's very important to have the correct language. And of course, if you have a language that you don't want, you'll have the possibility to simply remove it. So you click on, for example, here, I don't want United States because I'm in Canada. I'll remove it by clicking the Remove button. So that's how you'll set your keyboard layout. If your keyboard doesn't type what you want, that is probably the, the problem. Look at what language you're speaking, what's the language of your computer, it will have a layout on the keyboard for that language. It's very important. And last but not least, if it suddenly changed and you didn't do anything, it's very important to understand that there are viruses that change keyboard layout. So if you didn't touch anything and suddenly your keyboard is messed up, why not do a little scan with Malwarebytes? you'd be surprised some, some viruses actually want to change a language to English because it's the only way they can actually work. So that's a little tips and tricks for your keyboard layout. You'll have to know what is the keyboard layout specific to your machine and just set the correct 
language and keyboard layout in the control panel. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. And thank you so much for following us. Hope this video helps you fix your problems.